Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. Tommy, you must be really pleased with the result tonight. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, after a couple of defeats, it's important to get back to winning ways. And we've done that tonight, and it's obviously because it's a cup competition, it's important to stay in it. So uh, we can look forward to the quarter final draw now. And, uh, you know, we. Our second half performance, uh, you know, I think we do, we deserved to win the game. We started it really well, and on our second half performance, I think we deserved to go one 0 up. Uh, we're probably a little bit wasteful in the opportunities we had when they went down to ten men. You know, the final pass and wrong decision was made. We, I think, a couple of times we'd like four v two and three v twos that we should have made more often. And then, with so many tall and physical players on the on the pitch, um, you, you're a bit concerned that you know. One big lump in the box, and uh, you know something could happen off it. But thought we defended it extremely well, and uh, you know really pleased for the boys. Obviously, uh, the aim was to come and uh, get ourselves in the hat for the for the draw, and whenever it is. But delighted, it's good performance as well. So good to be in the next round. Yeah. How do you feel the team played in the first half and the second half? Uh, to be fair, I thought the boys done very well. We knocked it about at times. We well, we used the. Uh, Used the wide boys very well as well, and uh, I think second half with a few chances maybe to, to put the game to bed, but one nil was enough in the end. And delighted, yeah. A few players behind behind me uh, trying to put you off. Um, who, who are they? There's just a bunch of morons, man. I think you've got East Day, East Day Gaz, Midge, and Crofty, class clowns. Crofty is the, the main class clown there. He's, he's always showing off in that, but uh, they were terrific tonight. To be fair to them, so. Yeah. Uh, Kilmarnock, they've had a good start to the season, they're fifth place in the league just now. Um, have they improved from last season? Uh, I don't know, they've, they've, they've done well last season as well, to be fair to them. It was just unfortunate they get into a battle towards the end, but I think uh, we showed a bit of class tonight and showed we were the better team and fully deserved to, to beat them. When you brought Brian Graham to the club, did you expect him to score three goals in his first four games? I hoped. Um, he's, he's, he's done tremendously well. And I keep saying it. He, you know, if we give him supply, he'll score goals. Uh, you know, he, I think he wants to prove to people that he can play at this level. Um, and you know, he, he couldn't have had a better start. It, uh, and he'll get better because he hasn't played a lot of football. Uh, you know, over the last year, and uh, you know he'll get fitter and sharper. And uh, I'm expecting him to, you know, contribute a lot between now and the end of the season. Oh yeah, you know, uh, Bryce. Uh, Obviously a great finish, I see it in training since he's come in, he, he can put the ball in the net and he's obviously uh, Brian will go and win the headers and I can I can sort of play off him, and, which is good, I think it's a good link up, partnership with a big guy and I like to uh, obviously run the channels as well, so I think a good partnership, yeah. Murray Davidson, 90 minutes tonight, Gary Miller came in as well, how do you feel that those boys played? Both both excellent, um, Gary's been patient, uh, you know, and waited and, and he's come in and done really well. Um, showed a lot of energy and got forward for us in particular the second half but defended really well as well um, you know he's up against a really quick player uh, Murray's Murray that's, that looks to, to me that he's, that he's backed his best um, you know winning tackles, getting about the pitch uh, winning headers and uh, you know he had a couple of shots as well so uh, pleased, pleased for, for Murray and, 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 and Gary who's come in uh, since Tommy Wright took over as manager last season, I mean the, the record we've had in the League Cup, Scottish Cup, in Europe as well has been fantastic. What's what's that been down to? I don't know. You could say we're a, we're a great cup side. To be honest, we've done there. Uh, obviously, when you're in the competition, you want to go as far as you can, and that's it. We take one game at a time, and we want to go one better than last year. And this one, get to the final, and obviously with the Scottish Cup final, it's a great experience, and you want to experience that again. Which that'll be the end to go as far as we can. And since you've come to the club last season and this season in the League Cup, the Scottish Cup in Europe, we've done really well in the cup competitions. What's what's that down to, Tommy? It's down to the players. Uh, you know, I did feel and say, you know, on record on the record that after we beat Rosenberg away that we could be that we are a very good potentially be a very good cup side. We're difficult to beat. Uh, we're organised and, and you know, particularly with Stevie May last year, you know, we can we can always nick a goal. Uh, Brian and other people will contribute this year to their goals, and uh, you know I see no reason why we can't. You know I've got uh, another couple of good cut runs. Helicopter going over the top, but um, after a couple of defeats, a win like that is going to lift the mood ahead of the the derby with Dundee United this weekend. Oh yeah, actually I think uh, last two games we were we were disappointing, but 
able to, to get things right tonight again. I think we've done that and we look to take that into Saturday. Obviously, Dundee United, they're, they're flying at the minute, but as you said, we've obviously had a, we've got a good record against them and we're, we're going to need to keep that up. So, looking forward to it on Saturday. Just finally, Brian Graham uh, not available this, this weekend against Dundee United. Any plans to bring somebody else in before, before the weekend? Well, hopefully we might have uh, somebody in uh, this week, but um, we'll obviously have to look at fitness, uh, what stage, uh, you know, how quickly we'll get him fit, uh, and we'll look at that, you know, before the end of the week. Uh, will our, uh, you know, we sign someone and they're available to play on, on Saturday, we'll just have to wait and see. Cheers, Tommy. Thank you. Cheers.